Hello everyone, I'm Ramadoli and these are my teammates Ivoni, Febri, Anas, Kindi, and Farid. In this video, we are going to briefly explain about liquid liquid extraction. As a chemical engineering student, this topic is one of the many processes learned in separation process. Hmm, what is liquid liquid extraction? How does it work? When do we use liquid liquid extractions? What are the applications of liquid liquid extractions? Soon, you can find your answers through this video. First of all, the definition of liquid liquid extraction is a mass transfer operation in which the liquid solution containing solute, aka the feed, is contacted with an immiscible or nearly immiscible liquid, the solvent. The solvent exhibits preferential affinity or selectivity towards one or more of the components in the feed. Thus, after mixing, mass transfer of solute occurs from feed to the solvent. Basically, liquid-liquid extraction refers to the process of transferring target solute materials from a feed phase into a solvent phase. In addition to distillation, the applications of liquid-liquid extraction is recognized as a powerful separation method in the chemical industry. So, when does the liquid-liquid extraction process may be a process of choice? Liquid-liquid extraction is preferable when components to be separated are heat-sensitive such as extraction of antibiotics. Liquid-liquid extraction is used when distillation will require excessive amount of heat such as when the relative volatilities falls between 1.0 and 1.2. Liquid-liquid extraction is selected when the components are relatively non-volatile such as mineral salts. Liquid-liquid extraction can be a choice if the distillation process is not enough to separate solvents or it has prohibitive energy requirements and to avoid high cost distillation solution. Other reason to use liquid-liquid extraction is to break azotrop since we cannot separate components of azotrop mixture by distillation due at particular composition. Both components both at the same temperature. Example of azotrop mixture is water ethanol. Extraction can be avoided if it is more economical to separate solvents via distillation. Therefore, usage of liquid-liquid extraction should be evaluated before considering the process. There are no specific criteria by which to assess the suitability of a solvent for a particular application. And the final choice is always a compromise between competing requirements. First is the high selectivity, ability of solvent to extract a component or class of component in preference to other dictate the number of extraction stage required. Next is distribution of partition coefficient, the ratio of solubility of the solute in the solvent compared to feed. This determines selectivity and amount of solvent phase required. The other factor are density. The greater density difference between the feed and the solvent the easier it will be to obtain separation. After that is viscosity. High viscosity will inhibit mass transfer and phase separation. Hence, low viscosity will optimize the process. Next is interfacial tension. This affects the deposition, coalescence, and mass transition of a system which will affect the process rate. And last but not least, the cost for using the said solvent. Cost calculations are carried out in order to reduce economic losses. However, the extraction process may be a small part of the whole process, and solvent losses should not be significantly affect the economic process. Equipment that we use for LID are as follows. Mix settlers are series of mixing and settling units that are used when a small number of steps are applied. Vegetation are required at the mixing zone. Next, and plate column contractor. Interface is controlled to be at the above or below depending if light or heavy phase should be continuous. 
mechanically ejected column. The ejection can be internal movement of column or by vibrating the feed flow to the product of the column. Mechanically stirred columns are used more often, but not least are some dry devices. The example for this type of device are rotating extractor and falling bucket contractor. The operating modes are single stage liquid liquid extraction into flow sheet into the refinite stream and into the separation. Operating and design pitfalls First, emulsion Surface emulsions are formed when surface active contaminant are present. However, this happens in the extreme cases. Crowd layer Crowd are material accumulated at the interface of two liquid faces. It happens due to concentration of finely detected particulate matter, usually pose no problem. But in case of biological curd, is formed in the form of bacteria or fungus. If the curd accumulates so much that it causes difficulties, it needs to be removed based inversion. There is a probability of condensed space at the seat to be more dense than the refinite. This form because the solids form a significant proportion at either feed extract or both will render the operation impossible. Phase inversion, in which the phase that is intended to be continuous become dispersed or vice versa. This may cause a decrease in mass transfer coalescing will take a longer time or loss control in a column. Liquid-liquid extraction is an important separation method in research and chemical analysis. Extraction process are well suited to the petroleum industries as it is needed to separate heat-sensitive liquid feeds according to a chemical type rather than by molecular weight. As a commercial process, it is frequently used in the chemical and mining industries and in the downstream recovery of fermentation products such as antibiotics, amino acids, and steroids. Its application to food are restricted to isolate cases, such as the transfer of carotenoid pigments from organic solvents to edible oil. This technology could be used in the pharmaceutical industry where it emphasizes the separation of antibiotics and protein recovery. In an organic chemical industry, Extraction is used in recovering high boiling components such as phosphoric acid, boric acid, and sodium hydroxide from aqueous solution. Now we will show you the example of liquid-liquid extraction by application. Let us talk about the pharmaceutical industry where solvent extraction has many successful applications in this industry because of its inherent flexibility and its suitability for processing heat sensitive products. One of the device used is centrifugal extractor, also known as liquid liquid centrifugal extractors, where it is used widely in ethyl acetate extraction of chloroform extraction and so on. In this extractor, the mixing of two phases takes place in an annular space between the rotating cylinder and stationary shell. The settling is enhanced by the centrifugal force. The separated clean streams come out of the extractor through different nozzles. For applications requiring several extractor stages, Multiple centrifugal extractors are connected. They operate continuously and achieve counterflow. The holdup of the centrifugal extractor is very small. Therefore, the centrifugal extractor are well suited where quick switchover batch are important, like the pharmaceutical industries. For example, in production of bulk drugs, after crystallization, the drugs are separated from the mother liquor by centrifugation, such as traces of mother liquor is separated from aspirin crystals by centrifugation method. As a conclusion, liquid-liquid attraction can be applied widely in different fields such as separation of hydrocarbons in petroleum industry, separation in the bioprocess technology field, Accession oil extraction and potent purification. The advantages of liquid liquid extraction is that it is effective towards compound with high boiling points and even in low concentration, 
as a traffic mix test and with heat sensitive compounds. The disadvantages is that it can have large consumption of possibly toxic solvent, which also when recycled in the system requires costly equipment. Thus, recycling of the solvent in achieving a sustainable process is required and creates challenges to the large scale industry implementation of the process. In the end, as an engineer, one should consider which process is preferable, eco friendly, and cost effective. Sometimes combination of few processes are needed to achieve a pure extract. That's it for now. Thank you for watching our video. Hope you guys enjoy it and do give a like, share and do comments if you have any question related to liquid liquid extractions. Goodbye.